Hi there. Thank you for joining us for First Federal Savings Bank's Life Lessons. In this part of our technology series, we're going to talk about using your First Federal Savings Bank debit card with your Apple phone, Apple wallet. My name is Leanne Whitney, and I'm the Chief Information Officer at First Federal Savings Bank. I've been here for 20 years. Now, everybody that knows me knows that I love anything tech. So when First Federal Savings Bank joined with Apple to offer our first Fed debit card on the Apple phone, I was super excited. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I love this service. There's actually three reasons. It's simple, it's smart, and it's secure. How is it simple, you ask? Well, I'm sitting down to eat lunch right now, and I didn't bring my purse with me, but I always have my phone with me. So I'll just use Apple Pay. I can use Apple Pay on our vending machine because I know that it accepts Apple Pay and other contactless payments because it has one of these symbols on the machine. It's that quick and simple. So, how is it smart? Well, first, I love that I can add my first Federal Savings Bank debit card to my wallet. Many people know that you can add credit cards to your Apple wallet, but I don't wanna purchase my beverage or other everyday purchases on a credit card. I'd much rather have it automatically deducted from my checking account by using my debit card. Adding my first Federal Savings Bank um, debit card to my wallet was super quick and easy. Really, all I did was open up the app and take a picture of my debit card. It looks at the debit card at the information on it and verifies that it matches the information that is in your Apple ID contact information. As long as it matches, it adds the card instantly. If for some reason your contact information doesn't match the information that it picks up on the front of the card, there's a small additional step that you take where you contact our Apple Pay support staff and they confirm your identity by asking you out of wallet questions. In either case, once you've added the card to the wallet, you also receive an email verifying that a card was added to your Apple wallet, <clears throat> which is actually a great security feature. So this leads me to the third reason that I like using Apple Pay with my first Fed debit card, and that's that it's secure. Maybe you can see, but my card number does not appear on this display. Neither does my expiration date. And also that super secret three digit code that we all have to provide when we do transactions, it's nowhere to be found. Also, each transaction requires a biometric marker. In order to complete a transaction, I have to place my finger over the touch ID on the home button in order to verify the transaction. So if I were to lose my phone, nobody else could complete a transaction because they don't have my fingerprint. They also can't see my card information at all. So which merchants accept Apple Pay? Well, you'd be surprised to know that the majority of merchants who accept credit cards also accept contactless payment. Again, just look for these symbols um, at the local merchant and it'll be somewhere on or around the credit card terminal. And you tell the individual that you're working with at the, at the cash register that you wanna use Apple Pay and then just wave your phone or your Apple Watch near the terminal. So this is why I love using my first Federal Savings Bank debit card with Apple Pay. It's simple, it's smart, and it's secure. So watch for other segments in our First Federal Savings Bank Life Lessons Technology Series. And if you want more information about this and other products and services that we provide, you can contact our local branch location or go to our website at ffsbweb.com. We're also active on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We even have a YouTube channel. So check those out, join those, follow those for additional information. Thanks for joining and have a nice day.